Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Pestbox Productions, and welcome to A Dark Place, a meta horror game that puts the player in a surreal environment, features great music and eerie areas to explore and solve puzzles in. You gotta search for keys to open the doors and find the four music boxes to get your way to freedom. But there's one thing, don't let the corruption stop you from doing so. Would you know this is my third take trying to record this? <laughs> Because I'm not sure if it's the way this, the meta way this game operates that's making it not work, or if it's the, uh, or if it's just that the screen recorder I was using just decided to fail right there. But yeah, I'm back again trying to do this. All right, so yeah, WSD and arrow keys to move, and you can jump with spacebar, and you can look with the mouse. All right. Something else about this game is that it's supposed to act like a act like a computer nightmare, but it's turning into one for me for some reason. Just trying to record this thing. All right, chapter one, beer. A few minutes later. All right, I get it. All right, oh, a train. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I saw that last time. I don't think that's how trains operate. They don't like, derail themselves to, like, go around corners like that. Okay, I gotta wait for it to pass, because last time I ran jumped onto, tried to jump onto it, and it, uh, and it killed me, I guess. Alright. Uh, I think the door is right here. Oh, nope. Uh... I want to hurry up and get to the door because uh, I don't want the train to hit me again like last time. All right, here we go. Now, let's get to the hell subway and you end up on the B line. <laughs> All right, I gotta wait for it to pass again. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this, but I don't like the Unity engine. It's kind of a cliche with games like this. Every indie horror game I've played from games will always uses the Unity engine for some reason. Uh, I think it's around here. Oh, no it's not. Uh, wait, did I check this last time? Uh, yeah, nothing's here. Alright, so I think there's a switch on the other side. It's supposed to open the, uh, go the garage door I'm supposed to go through. That's where I came. I mean, I know it's gonna, I'd say I put quotes like about great music, but the music's not that bad. But, hmm, I mean it fits the atmosphere, but it still leaves questions to where exactly I am. I'm in some kind of a nightmare or something, because this doesn't seem like a real place that anybody would build. And, and you know, unless they were me and they're just, delim just deliberately trying to scare the crap out of people for no reason except for fun. Alright, there's one lock open. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Music just stopped. I was like waiting for something to jump out at me. Alright. I guess we gotta go back through here. Okay, I don't think there's anything there. Wait, let me go back and check the box and stuff. Just in case. So I need the key to get into that room. Uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing here. Alright. I mean, there's a real- I mean... Wait for the train? Okay. And... <laughs> this game's interesting. There's really not much to say about it except that there's like a... Corrupted, uh, not even not corrupted, but a <laughs> crap. Okay, and it shuts down the game if this happens. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bring it up again. <laughs> oh crap! Hey, I'm back again. So. The other re this adds to my hatred of the Unity engine. I'm guessing it's due to, to the uh, limitations that it has. 
I'm not sure if it's intentional, because I mentioned this in one of the previous takes, that um, that the trains are not meant to go around the tracks like, like this. Like, they're not supposed to swing around into the wall like that. But because of, I guess, like I said, limitations, it causes the train to swing around the, uh, the track like that, and it makes it difficult for me to get around it. Particularly if I come out of this door. Alright, so I guess I gotta go do all this stuff again. Here. That. Open that. And now to go back and somehow avoid the train that I can't see. That's the worst thing. I don't know when it passes. I'm not sure if I can hear it or not. Because I'm hearing, I'm not sure I'm hearing this, the train that's passing by, like, outside this door, or if I'm hearing the other one on the other side of the door, which makes it, means I, makes it difficult that I can't really get through. I'm only going to do this for like 20 minutes or so, because I don't plan on doing this whole thing on, maybe at a later time, because I have to go back and do, uh, Cold World again, because I never finished that demo, because the game crashed on me, like, oh! Okay, gotta move. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, man, that was close. All right, I managed to outsmart the train, finally. Oh. Nope, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh. Okay. I hate, I hate the Unity engine. <laughs> I hate it. See? That is not how it's supposed to move. There we go. Found the other door. Am I like in some kind of a, an ancient subway system or something? Because not, nothing about this makes sense. I mean, so far the corruption hasn't stopped me except for that time I accidentally walked into a moving train. But. Yeah, other than that, nothing's... Yeah, I'm in the... Okay, here's the other button. Alright. Both are open. Now I gotta avoid the train. Again. There has to be a sprint button here on this thing because... This is really slow. Okay, did, did, did I just clip into the wall or something? What just happened? The train is passing, but it's not hitting me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I clipped into the wall. I'm stuck. I can't even die now. <laughs> I, I have become a god, but what is the point if I can't do anything? <laughs> All right, so... Okay, I gotta start over. I'm, I hate that. I hate that. This is, what is this, like the, si the sixth time? All right, I'm gonna try. Oh, I am beginning to hate this place. <laughs> I hate seeing it. There's, they said there's supposed to be like an autosave function in here somewhere or something, but I, it has not activated. I'm not sure if it's quick save or autosave, but whatever. I might be, I know I'm probably not making any sense with it, but I'm not making any progress. <laughs> I got the, I got the door open, but then right after that, the thing, uh, locked up on me. Can I go here first? All right, I'm just gonna get this one first this time. Like this. Like that. Uh, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, this isn't like a full thing. 
This is like a... This is like a... I guess you say it's a first look, I guess. I'm gonna probably play it later on, like with Cold World, which I haven't gotten back to yet. But... <laughs> I don't want to play the full ver full of all of this game because it's gotten frustrating already simply because I clip through the wall or there's other problems with the train glitching through uh, the walls too. So it makes it particularly frustrating. I'm not even sure if these are just part of the game uh, messing with me to try and uh, make sure I lose, but <laughs> I don't know. It said to beware the corruption, but that's happening regardless. I'm not sure if it's just the game's crappy design or if it's the game trying to, or it's the game itself. Like it's just part of it. Or maybe the game is just crappy design and the and the developers just trying to cover up ineptitude to try and uh, <laughs> to try and uh, make it seem like oh yeah, there's glitches. Oh yeah, those are part of the game. Like I didn't I didn't rush through this and <laughs> not play test anything. It's, it's just part of the game. It's the bad guy. I just want to get up here and wait for it to pass so I can go behind it. Because I don't want to be in front of that thing. Yeah, I don't think this is supposed to happen when trains turn in this engine. Or maybe it's because this engine's just bad. So I'm seeing problems with the tracks too. If you look down, you'll see the tracks sort of like flip. Right, and I get the key. Oh wait, did I say? Requires key. What is this? Okay, I guess it requires a different key. Probably should specify. All right, what horrors wait me in here? Flowers. Take them. All right, well, finally we got somewhere new. But I'm not even sure if I can even record this for much longer because I'm coming up on the limit I, was, I decided upon. All right, another key. Yeah, you know, I really wish there was like a flashlight or something in this. Yeah, I get it. I suck! <laughs> Alright. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna go- I'm gonna get one more- go one more try at this thing. I'm gonna go one more try at this because I have to actually go to the store to get to buy some- uh, to buy some stuff. Because I'm back in- I'm back at college again. I gotta go get more food and stuff and get books from my class and everything. So yeah, I only gonna do one more try at this, and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna have to go try it again at another time because this is getting frustrating. I know it doesn't sound like I am frustrated, but I am. I particularly don't like the fact the game kicks you out instead of just kicking you back to the main lobby or something. It kicks you out of the game, so you have to start recording all over again, and I have to try and sort through the files to make sure I have the right recording rather than any of the other takes I've had. open. Alright. The glitch train. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is like, eh, it glitches through the wall, but I'm not sure if that's like because the game's badly designed or if it's because, uh, or if it's because the, um, or if it's just the nature of the game itself. I mean, for a game that's supposed to be like meta horror and it's supposed to be like intelligent and play you as it goes along, it feels pretty straightforward. Like, um, for instance, this, I mean, you go here, you open the switches, you get the keys, you open the doors that require keys, you get the music box, and you move on. I'm guessing because there are four music boxes, uh, there are four chapters, I guess. I'll see if I can get this chapter done and then move on to something else because this game is frustrating and I have to go through editing this and it's going to be hell 
because I have to, oh, I didn't make sure to check first. Okay. Okay, did I, I unlocked all of them, so. Yeah, here we go, get the key. It requires key. It requires key, yet I'm holding one. It's like that uh, thing from uh, <laughs> Silent Hill where uh, Harry Mason's standing near the dog house and he's like, too bad there's no dog around, and there's like like a million of them around him. <laughs> Granted, those aren't exactly dogs, but still. And get the other key. Uh, did I miss it? Oh, here it is. You know, the music makes it really hard to actually hear the train sometimes. I can't hear where the train is. I'm not sure if I'm hearing this right. Alright. Up through that. Okay, I guess this is the key. Alright. Whoa! Crap, man! I love watching you. Wait, is this thing activating the, uh, the, the webcam? Because I don't have that on. Okay. I love watching you. It's not going to activate the webcam, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> it, <laughs> it just closed. All right. Um, I've been going for almost half an hour now, so I'm going to stop this here. What do I think about this game? Uh, it has some cool elements, I guess. Uh, I really like the, it just open. it just brought up something here, and I'm not sure what it's for. Uh, it's saying, security warning, open this file, unknown publisher, or dark place. I'm probably going to open it, because I want to see what happens. Uh, okay. Okay, it's making sounds. I'm not recording the sound on here. Okay, I made it, I might have made a mistake. Yeah, okay, it's making that weird glitch sound. I might have made a mistake here by opening a VB script file. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to try to ignore the sound and try to give my review on this thing, all right? So, I like it. I like the meta factor of this game, um, but I don't like the graphics. The graphics are terrible. The train glitches through the walls, which makes it harder to avoid for some reason, so I don't know why it even does that. I'm not sure if it's a feature in the game or it's just the game's crappy design, like I said. Um, it's very linear. Like, you go there, you get the key, you go there, you open the door with switches, you get the key, you open the door, you get the other key, you go through the other door, and then you get hit by the glitch face. Uh, that's pretty much what I got. It feels pretty linear for something that I was expecting to be more abstract. But it's an okay game. Like I said, I don't particularly like the Unity engine, and if anybody was planning to develop a game, uh, uh, do use a different engine than Unity, because it's such a cliche to see the Unity engine in every horror game I've played. So with that, I'm going to end this video here, so be sure to check out my other videos as well as Pricebox Productions other videos with our channels Pricebox Gaming and Pricebox Reacts, and also check out my channel, The True Andrew App. Thanks for watching, and stay jammed.